fish on. What is it? What is it? No way, dude. We got our hook. Got our can. I am surprised on how well this spoon I made works. Hello everyone, today I'm doing the make your own lure challenge and I'm going to be using trash and recycles to try and make a lure. Let's go. Alright, I got this Coke can. This should be flashy enough and I can mold it into something that would work. Alright, we got our hook. Got our can. This is probably all we're going to need. Alright, so the first thing I did was cut out some small little chunks of metal from the can. And then I poke some holes in them for the wire to go through. Then I cut out a second piece for the main body of the spoon. I then went and got a wire to attach the hook and blades to. I then continued to trim and mold the chunks of metal until it looked right. Wow! What fish is gonna eat a Coke spinner? So then I went ahead and made the line tie. Boom! There you have it, boys. We made a Coke spoon. Let's go test it out on the water. Made it to the fishing spot. Let's get fishing. This is where I caught a bunch last time. And I caught it with a beetle spin, which is really flashy. So the spoon I made is also pretty flashy, so hopefully it works. Worst case scenario, we don't catch any fish or we snag it. Moment of truth. Let's test the action on the Coke spoon. Honestly, I'm not that nervous because I know even if the action is horrible, I'll still probably be able to catch fish because the sunfish in here don't care at all what the lure looks like. Here we go. Whoa. That's so cool. It has, like, it has like a flutter on the way down. Here we go. First cast and um, this thing is way too light. Are gonna be around the structure. Oh my god. No way. I just had a fish on, dude. Oh, almost lost my footing there. Oh my god! No way! Jeez. We just caught a fish with the Coca-Cola lure. Are you okay, dude? You're like twitching weird. It didn't take long, but we finally caught a fish with the Coca-Cola lure. This guy isn't looking too good, so I'm gonna get him back. See you later, buddy. Uh-oh. Okay, this guy's really not doing good. I don't know, no. What so what happened with that last fish was I foul hooked him in the skull. So sadly, he did not make it, but I don't feel like that counts for the challenge. I mean, he was probably going for the lure anyway, but I still don't feel like that should count. So I'm changing spots to try and find where the green sunfish are because I know they're gonna bite this spoon. I see some fish down here. Oh, we had a fish. Oh, I see a cichlid. Fish on. What is it? What is it? No way, dude. It's a big greenie. Look at that green sunfish on the Coke spoon I made. Let's get her home. There she goes. There's my one. Oh. Got one. Got something. Yes, another greenie, dude. I knew it. Second green sunfish of the day on the homemade Coke spoon. I really want to catch one of those cichlids though. Oh, have something. No way. Another greeny dude. I am surprised on how well this spoon I made works. Let's get her back. Yes. 
All right, everyone, so that's gonna do for today's video. I cannot believe how well this lure worked. It wasn't as good as store-bought lures, but we were actually able to catch a decent amount of fish. So if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.